was about the same time that he met Adolphus Bush. Bush was a little younger. He was born in 1839. He was the second youngest of 22 children. So it doesn't shock many people when I say he left at 18, moved to St. Louis via New Orleans and the Mississippi River. He worked as a clerk on the riverfront, and by the time he was 21, he actually had a partnership in a brewing supply business. And it was through this enterprise that he met Everhart Anheuser. And Everhart introduced Adolphus to his daughter, Lily. And in 1861, Lily Anheuser and Adolphus Bush were married. Shortly after, Adolphus went to work for his father-in-law at the brewery, and he would later purchase half of it, becoming a partner. Now, you have to understand, at this time in the United States, beer was sold in the same community in which it was brewed. It didn't go very far. Adolphus was determined to create a brand that would transcend this tradition of a local brew and appeal to the taste of many different people. So, in 1876, he and his friend Carl Conrad created an American-style lager beer that succeeded beyond everyone's expectations. Can anybody guess what that was? <laughs> I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> Starts with a B. Very good. <laughs> there are no trick questions, I promise. You, I'll keep my eye on. Adolphus coined the name Budweiser because it appealed to German immigrants like himself and also could be easily pronounced by Americans. Obviously, Bud